What is the uh, number one thing you get asked to audition for, like on Actors Access or, or any audition? What's the number one stereotype? The number one kind of st- type type that I am typically called in for. Yeah. Um, dad, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, but it depends Officer. on the dad. It depends on the dad yeah. because a lot of dad. See, the problem is a lot of characters my age. Uh-huh. I I can't audition for because a lot of them are they look they got one foot in the grave. They're mm-hmm. they're out of shape. They're overweight. They're they're, they're just yeah. So doctor, lawyer, yeah. cop, yeah, uh, military, yeah. Uh, dad. Uh, sales guy, attorney. Mm. What about you? White supremacist. <laughs> I had fitting. I had two auditions this week just for both, white supremacists. Both. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I just emulate white oh, supremacy, unfortunately. Yeah. Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex. I'm Corbin. He's a clan member. Uh, after 2016, those roles have gone way up. Though. They actually have. <laughs> it's far more popular to be a white supremacist in America. Uh, uh, you can follow we, us on Instagram, Twitter, yeah. or Juicy Cotton. Thanks for being false to subscribe. That's right funny. Phone. That's actually... <laughs> that's very. It's it's better for you than it is for me because we we don't fit into the diversity lane. No, unless it's a redhead. I yeah. No, the, you. But you yeah, yeah. you would get more because they want to. They want the. There's a lot more white supremacists to yeah. portray these days. Yeah, there's quite a few. Yeah. Uh, today we're doing a movie review. Well, we're doing four movie reviews. Actually, one, two, three, four. Uh, if uh, it, it would have been funny if I just went one, two, three, four. I wanted to add one more second just for Vicky. Uh. <laughs> If you've seen uh, the movie, you know what I'm referring uh, to. We are doing a movie review of Lust Stories 1. Uh, and we are going to do each of them in, in segments, obviously. Like we'll we do did it. Bombay Talkies. Bombay Talkies. Uh, and you feel like, why aren't you doing a watch along? The... We enjoyed watching the, the, the Bombay Talkies uh, quite a bit. The It just didn't get enough traction on YouTube to be worth the amount of time that it takes for the editing that I have to do for watch alongs. Um, and that's fine. We're, we're still going to watch them. But... <laughs> It Not takes, as a watch along. It, it takes a lot of work to do watch alongs very I, you edited know, on YouTube. Here's a thought you've probably thought of it. We could do live watch alongs and then people just watch along with us live. And then if you missed it, you missed it. You'd get a copyright string. Lives. You, you, you would if you did it live? We got, uh, we got a. What if we did it on Patreon live and it was just for patrons? That's true, but also you want to try to cut it up if you can for YouTube. You, you could do that post operative. Um, yeah. I anyways, yeah. There's, anyway, there's all anyway, options, that's, but that's why. That's why. This one was a review as opposed to watch along. But uh, we're going to do each of them. So it starts with Anyurag, and then it goes to Zoya, and then um, um, Dil, Dil, Dibar, uh, Dibakar, and then, Banerjee, uh, forgive Miss And then uh, Karen Johar. Yeah. We'll do it in that order. Um, so if you haven't seen it, please go watch it. It's on Netflix. Are we doing spoilers right out the gate? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this one came out in 2018. Yeah. So you've, right. you've there if you, you haven't seen it. Go watch it, like I said. Yeah. But uh, let's start with Anyurax. What was your thoughts of Anyurax Kashyap's short of Lust Stories? Well, let me say, if you have not seen Lust Stories, and we're going to give the spoilers away, please go watch it. Thank you. Um, I um, First of all, what else can we say about Radhika Apte that hasn't been said? Oh my God, I love her so much. So, um, <laughs> thumbs up. Loved yeah. it. Um, I, 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 obviously, it's carried by her, and she, I've said this about her before, and I'll say it again. She is the kind of actor you don't just like watching, but if you're an actor, she's the kind of actor that you, you salivate and die mm-hmm. to work with her. <clears throat> the, the joy of being able to work with her and the freedom you feel that you would have and the danger she would give you. And Especially with Anyurag Kashyap. I, I, with Anyurag directing, can you imagine yeah, writing, yeah. how glorious it would be that's to why have they work together so Anyurag helming something and, and Radhika as a lead uh, and you're opposite her? Good grief! Yeah. That's that's Absolutely that's that's wonderful. being attic heaven. Um, so yeah, yeah, I I I really enjoyed it. Uh, I I really enjoyed the entire series, and we'll get to all yeah, of them. I loved all four. Um, and I think even though we'll get to the obviously bearing nuances, I think this is a sh- overall stronger. Even though this all four were equally strong for me, they were compared all, to Bombay Talks. Yeah, 
even though there were three that were very strong in, in Bombay Talkies. Yeah. One that was extremely strong in Bombay Talkies. It was the um, stuff of legends. Uh, so I, I still think it's, it's still very good, but I think the in terms of everything being equal, in terms of like they're all really high quality. Yeah. Um, then we'll get to the other ones, but this one especially. Um, I, I loved this short because it was so unique. And because co- right when it started, you 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 didn't know where it was going. Obviously, they were they were about to have sex. Yep. And then she did that interesting talk to the camera point. And, so yeah, I, you were talking about her looking first into the camera. Yeah, when Audica, yeah. Radhika came in, and then after they had sex, right? right. Once again, spoilers. Um, she talked to the camera. So I thought it was going to be a um, the men are going to be the very sensitive ones that get attached. I thought it was going to be kind of like a, a play on what a lot of people say about women that they mm-hmm. can't separate. You know, love and sex and 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 all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um. But that was kind of one of the. It was kind of a, a very different, quirky moment for the short, because it didn't it didn't go in the direction I thought it was going to do. There was no. So many different things. Very going well on in this. Yes. I, it was so quirky and different. I love the editing style that Anurag and his editor decided to go with. Radhika played it with fucking flawlessness as she always does. Yep. Which is why, outside of maybe Taboo, I think she's the best Indian actress out there she's about as good uh, as it gets she's just so fucking phenomenal and i love watching her yeah and everything she ever does yep um but yeah i loved her performance i loved the quirky nature of the entire short yeah and it was it i thought it was going to go certain directions and it never really finished those directions not because it was incomplete but because that wasn't the direction it was going to go yeah i thought this was going to be a story that was somewhat straightforward in terms of a teacher having an affair with yeah. a student it wasn't yeah it was far more about when the complexity the... of this woman <laughs> yeah. and then the final payoff oh. i laughed out loud when at she looked end. at me she said what are you not i'm married, married. <laughs> <laughs> and in the end it was yes <laughs> thank you it was fantastic i laughed out loud i did too uh, and, and and she was never fully anything in terms of she was never fully insecure about what she was doing she was never fully stalkery she came mm-hmm. close to it yeah. she was never at one point you thought wow she's madly in love with him no she is not Kinda she's psychotic, not madly yeah. she's a bit psychotic yeah. wait a minute he's not being forthright with her too so at one moment you're scared of her the next minute you're rooting for her uh, it was great uh, yeah i thought it, it was, was great super because uh, also the editing style of like she says one thing in the next frame she's like crying yes <laughs> like, i love the the editing choices that, that and i loved the they i don't with. know who she was talking to it felt like she was talking to her therapist yeah. right I don't know. Felt like she was talking to her therapist. Maybe but herself, multiple uh, I also, <laughs> I also loved and laughed out loud when she's talking about her husband, and goes to him, and <laughs> he says, "I think we should fornicate." <laughs> huh? Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, but also I would like to. I'm. I'm pretty sure I'm going to blame it on Netflix. Uh, love your subbing. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, well, you can never count Good on grief. subbing of Indian films, honestly. Well, Netflix in particular, because they are guilty yeah. in the past of having taken subs presented to them by the creators and they're just citing of their own whatever to do it. I, I mean, there was a point that. in that. There was a point in everyone. Zindagi was said and they didn't say life. She said Chutia and they didn't translate it at all. Full sentences were spoken and they didn't add another sentence. It's just... Yeah, it, and this one was super interesting because... Um, like so many different directions. I thought there were maybe the Me Too movement. It was because it was also so interesting. Us, it was the teacher student relationship, right? But obviously, it was a he was an adult. Yep, right. He was twenty. Well, that's what he says. He was. 21. He said he was twenty twenty one, but also still a student. Because if this was a if she was a man, and the student was a female, people would be feeling a whole different way. Mm-hmm. They wouldn't give as much lenience. To this uh, kind of no. activity, even though you still shouldn't give lenience to it. Yeah, she 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 she, she was going to be toast way sooner than a guy would be. Oh yeah. Um, so it, I was like, oh, so are we going to go in that direct? They didn't kind of go. In, he didn't go in one particular direction. Mm-mm. He kind of just this is a broad blanket statement. You think of what you want to think about this. It really set the table for all four films in that. Yeah, you didn't you didn't know it when you go into it, but after you've seen all four, you realize that this one sets the table for all four of these films. They're going to be women's centric and they're going to be very complex and they're going to touch on subjects that are real and important but aren't touched upon enough yeah in 
in Indian cinema that we've seen with four really good and directors. that I've read in the reviews from people uh, Anupama Sharma I read her uh, review uh, afterwards because I knew she'd have a, a vantage point being Indian and being a yeah. woman and she she felt the way I felt about yeah. all four of them I thought this thing this yeah. is this all four as a synopsis and I'll say this again at the end this is one of my favorite things I've seen come out of Indian cinema ever but I loved this a lot of it pretty ballsy and we'll get to a lot I'm gonna of it. watch it tonight again with Indrani yeah because I want her to see it um so yeah, uh, loved on, and we'll I'll, we'll rank them at the end um, to tell you what what our as far as the favorites are, which is going to be yeah. very interesting. It will be. Um, it's not a, it's not a foregone conclusion like Bombay talkies. Yeah. Um, but next one was Zoya's. Uh, I don't know the names of these, but it's the one with the housemaid, right? Uh, one, which was Bhumi, which was another really really good one, uh, and so different, uh, and and it because you you thought it was going to go the way of Sir a little bit, a little bit with with uh, Tilotama. Because that's that was one of the first like um, made love love stories that we saw ever, and one of our introductions to Tilotama, our dost, mm-hmm. uh, which is uh, she's fantastic. But yeah, this one was really good. I really you really felt for this character. Insta- this I wrote one. down. I instantly cared about her. Yeah, the moment you Bumi know, did a great job. Yeah, Bumi was gorgeous. She was so good. Yes. Um. The and Zoya's directing, which I'll talk about in a second. Um. I, the the moment. You knew who she was, which was a beautiful way. It's the writing and the directing. Show, don't tell. Mm -hmm. The moment you knew who she was and what was going on, I was heartbroken for her. Yeah. And Zoya did a magnificent job of using space to convey distance Mm -hmm. because it starts with them as close as they could possibly be, right? And the importance, I cannot underscore, highlight, emphasize, you name it, the importance of her not showering, Mm -hmm. what that means in terms of her depth of connection with this guy versus his, Mm -hmm. and how for him, this was just his get off, Mm -hmm. and for her, this was her love. Yeah. And the distance down the halls, and then the final thing for me, that just broke my heart for her and said so much. It was just when she comes out from having made the cha and she looks and sees the empty chairs. Mm -hmm. That right there just synopsized, you're never going to have him. And it was it, it was played very well, especially in the beginning, because you didn't know the the story right away. No, you didn't, you didn't know. Okay, are they married? Right. Are they just having a relationship? No. Uh, and then obviously, once the parents came in, you you got it immediately. And they're saying they he says she does this. You're like, oh, this she is the servant. Yes. And I bet he's not gonna let them know what's really going on. But she she didn't have almost till the end. Hardly any dialogue in Didn't this. need it. She said so. Boomy did yeah. a brilliant job. She was wonderful. Uh, and, and Zoya was unforgiving. Yes. This, this whole thing was pretty much, whereas the first one is carried by Radhika and her totality, her physical being in, in all ways, this one was pretty much carried by Boomy's face. Yes. Um, and, and all the other actors did a good job in terms of their 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 roles. Yeah, uh, he, I believed the, every the, second. The the other guy had to be um, distant. You saw immediately when she put on her clothes, and then you were like, okay, are they? I thought they were going to be both maids at first. And they, yeah, w- they go into people's houses and yeah. have sex on people's houses. Yeah, uh, and then you saw what he was putting on as opposed to what she was putting on. Uh-huh. You saw all the differences. Uh huh. But Boomy, we've seen her many times actually, uh, but every single time we've seen her, we've always been extremely impressed. With what she's done in 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 the roles she's uh, we've seen her in, yeah, I would love to see even more. Absolutely, because would. Um, I know she, she's in Toilet. We haven't seen Toilet it, yet, but and and coming off the heels of how good Radhika is in that first one, mm-hmm. it, that's 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 uh, to this, follow that this whole thing. And there's so many great performances. We'll talk about all of them. This is carried by women performances. Oh, it's beautiful th- throughout the it's ent- beautiful entirety and, and the direction. And I also loved. Uh, the other thing I love about this is as tragic as this one seemingly is, right? Mm-hmm. What do you think about the eating of the sweet and the smile at the end of the elevator? The end. Isn't that great? I love because it was not ex- I was not expecting it. No, but what it our, our, I have a very strong sense of what our Zoya's dose wanting. Dost uh, comes yeah, out. She comes uh, out. R- Rasika, yep. uh, a phenomenal actress, obviously. It's great to see her face. Um, what did you that, think about that at the that end? That was so interesting because I didn't know that I was like. What's the dynamic here? Yeah. What's <laughs> I I felt 
I really and and Zoya would be the one to answer this question. Talk to um, us. God. The, I know really. The the because I man, we just I want to talk to you about what you do as a director. I while I was watching it, I thought of so many questions. Yeah. I would love to example, I would love to ask Zoya on this one in particular, but she, with every film she's ever done that we've seen, the distance shots, right? That conveyed the distance of her from everybody else. So, I would ask Zoya were those decisions you made consciously in during the process of, of the script being written? Was it storyboarded? Or, or do you make those decisions on the day? Or is it a beautiful mix of all of the above? Was that something your DP did to you? I mean, it's very clear it was done. The sp- she's, she has a great understanding of cinema in terms of conveying color and, and space as a storytelling element. Yeah. And she did it in this. I felt... What do you think? I felt the smile and the taste of the sweet kind of flipped the narrative on its head for all of us who made a judgment about her and saw her as the victim. Mm -hmm. I think we are heartbroken for her, we feel sad for her, and then at the very end, the two of them are talking, and the biting of the sweet is, I chose this, I actually, uh, yeah, I mean, you decide, I, maybe I liked it. (laughs) Maybe I'm not the victim. Maybe they can continue. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, maybe maybe she thinks she's got him, but I know he's still going to sleep with me when they're married. Yeah. I it thought, just did a little coin flip at the I, end. I thought she was going to put something in the tea. I did too. Whether it was like poison or like just yeah. something gross yeah. to uh, to get back at them. The moment in the bedroom between all the actors was really good. Yep. You could feel the tension. The tension. Um, Absolutely. Uh, cut the tension. Yeah. That's what Dutt was saying. This one was... Uh, I, I loved all of them, spoilers, obviously, and some I loved even more than the others, but every single one of these shorts was really, really strong. Um, and, and I heard a lot of people say that Bombay Talkies was the stronger one and Lust Stories wasn't oh, as no, strong, no, which, no. which it just crazy. Even though Bombay Talkies was a, three of them were really good. Really, really one good. One was fantastic. The other one was the, definitely the weakest one. Yeah, I um, felt all four of these were really back strong. to back to back to back sixes. Yeah, I just thought all four of these um, were great. So yeah, I love this one as well. The next one is uh, directed by the uh, yes. the best director of the first of right. Bombay Talkies, which we loved with uh, Nawaz. Yeah, uh, Mr. Banerjee. Did, uh, say his name. Did he write it as well? Say his name. Uh, Dibekar. If, if I'm mispronouncing that, I'm so so sorry. He is a writer, so I'm assuming. It, I'm assuming he yes. he did segments write it. his. Okay, so I think that's the thing. They all write and direct their own segments. The writing in this, the third one. This one was so interesting because the writing, the writing in all of them was phenomenal. Was, uh, writing was all great because you don't expect no any of them, right? But this one was especially because you thought it was like okay, one you you it took a minute to figure out what, what exactly was going on, right? And then when you figure out, I was like, oh okay, so this is like a, a, a your typical affair, right? I, I I wanted this thing as I'm watching, and I thought, well, oh, extrapolate this into a three person play, man. Yeah, this was almost like um. Succession esque. It was of, in terms of like it was. That's a good comparison. Kind of like the complex drama that's yeah. going on in this, where um, where more is being said in sub context than what's being said directly to everybody yeah. by everybody. Yeah, and oh, I, I just you're, and you're expecting exam like for example when he when he when she tells him yeah right, and then. His buddy comes downstairs and she says, he, dosed. Yeah, j- dosed. And she says, he knows. Um, you're looking at the husband and waiting for his response. Who did a great job, by the way. Incredible job. Yeah. And I, 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 I was a Nil Kapoor. I, I thought very much a Nil Kapoor look. And I, I, I thought, you know, that your, your gut says he's going to, he's going to burst into a rage. Yeah. The bedroom moment that follows that scene where he's just weeping mm-hmm. and then goes and then rolls over and you see his hands start and yep. he's weeping and you know it's going to it's it's now evolving into the he wants to make love to his wife. Yes. Yes. It was so real and so human and carried all of the complexity, his heartbreakingness of his cry. You could tell just in the real reality of that moment and for her as well. The brokenness of I love this woman and I love my friend and I hate what's happening and I can't change the fact that I love both of these people. I also loved right out the gate, very brave shot, especially for Indian cinema stuff, for her to be coming out of the water with the camera on her in a full bathing suit talking about her body. 
specifically talking about her body when yeah. she came out of the water and saying, how do I look? And he says, yeah, you look like you're a woman who's had two kids. <laughs> But I loved it was playful, and she was so open and good with her body. I, I know it's a popular name. Is he related to Anil Kapoor? He's got to be. If with last name Kapoor and that look, that's Sanjay they've Kapoor. Be related. They look like Are they brothers? brothers. They wouldn't shock me. They've got to be brothers. Uh, and forgive our idiocy. Yeah, well, and ignorance. We saw him in Om Shanti Om look by chance, apparently in Kalho Naho. Yeah. Uh, so if he is, I apologize. Please. Let it. And also, I just figured out this: the the guy Radhika was having sex with the the kid is the lead in Syrat. It didn't click to me till till just now. No idea. Uh, Had no clue. Uh, but yeah, the, the complexity in this one with Jaideep and 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 um um the guy. This one, the this guy one just, was Sanjay the, Kapoor. Yeah, this was the most. I don't want. And what's this, the actress's name? This comparison isn't to say the others were immature her. at all. This one was the most mature. Say say her name. We need to say Manisha her. Ko- Koirala, who plays uh, um, the the wife. The, uh, this this was the most. Uh, for lack of a better analogy, this one would be, you know, think of think of foods that only adults would eat and kids would f- spit out and throw blue out of their cheese. mouth. Yeah, yeah. This is this is this is blue olives. cheese, uh, Greek. Yeah, gr- different kinds of olives. G- tasting mustards in France, uh, having going out to Napa and tasting wines. That's what this one was. Yeah, she not did- that the others weren't great, but this had that complexity to it she we've seen her actually quite a bit um in in her career she's oh yeah a long I, time. I instantly recognized but her. she did a phenomenal job i loved the the um a lot of her shots of her just taking off her makeup and then having scenes fully without makeup which you don't notice until it just doesn't happen they did right wear makeup right for a lot a scene right because that just a lot of uh, actresses or the directors don't want their actresses to appear raw right um she she displayed so much rawness and complexity um like because you i feel like at the end you still don't really know what she wants what she's gonna no, do no because like she was like oh am i gonna be with you after after i divorce my husband and then he goes off on a rage right and you're like is oh is he gonna be the kind of right. the exact kind of same thing as if if they get into a relationship and yep. so i think she was like questioning then she's like maybe i maybe i don't want to be with you after right uh but right. then they end up together and she's they know that they're having an affair and like there's so much going on so much so going like, on. it's like succession it is very much <laughs> it, it there's there's two things about i'm i'm remembering something from the zoya one that i wanted to point out and i'm glad i'm remembering it when the zoya one opens up we hear them and the shot is from above both of them in bed and he's on top of her but zoya then makes it a point mm-hmm. to show her on top yes that I didn't want folks to miss that because she did that on purpose to show the equality in that relationship and the fact that this woman has a level of dominance that makes her comparable to him. And again, also, it's em- great. A- another empowering so many of these stories. I can't remember the final frame of number four, which we're going to get to in a second. But the first three, their final frames have empowerment to our leads. We have Radhika saying, what are you kidding? I'm married. And then in the second one, we have Bhumi smiling as she eats the sweet. And in this one, we just have the grandiose smile on the phone driving away the, the, that conveys this is she's she's going to have the what she wants. The third one, or the fourth one was um, the final frame. Yeah, Vicky. That's her. right. And How can I forget that? Her that was the final frame, thinking. and it isn't empowering. We'll get to that yeah. in a second because I wrote down here the ice cream at the end. So yeah. we'll get to that in a second. Yeah, yeah. Um, Thank you, but. Yeah, this the on the on finishing up on the um, uh, this the one right one. here. Uh, it was just so complex and so so unique, and it, just not what you're so expecting uh, with a an affair story. Um, because you, affair stories have been around forever, right? Uh, especially in cinema, mm-hmm. of just as long as there've been human beings. And so to bring something new and kind of fresh to it and unique and some that stuff that makes you think and. Mm-hmm. Um, you understanding 
or kind of understanding at least all the characters and, and what they're doing yeah. uh, and, and their complexity because it's a real relationship. Um, and uh, so, once again, his writing is it's really incredible. impressing me. I would love to see uh, – so please let me know because he's the director we've seen the least of. Yeah. But everything we've seen of his, we've, we've liked loved, yeah. really a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I would love to see more. So please let us know uh, what should be the next for him. Uh, so now the fourth one, which is Kieran Johart. <sighs> This was the best of the series. <laughs> I'm just going to give you my spoiler there. And which is crazy, right? Because the last when, the Bombay Talkies, right? His was the weakest. His was by, his far, was by the far the weakest. And and I thought to myself when it was going into this one, I thought, okay, brother, <laughs> why have they put you fourth yes. after these three? Yes. Because you've got a lot to live up to. This one was, I, I wish this was a film. I do. I wish this one was a film because one, it still had that happy I was feeling. Dying had that happy feeling of Karen Joy. I right. So was like, dying as of a, as opposed to the other ones. This one had still that kind of. Oh, it was his. His thumbprints are up, all over upbeat, it. Uh, but not over the top, which no, is great. But it's got him all over it. But it's got his his feel to it. it. Really, all the all yes. of these are the director's thumb. It really feels but like this all one of their was films. one just the the quintessential story oh, of it goodness. which is very empowering and, and sad for a lot of uh women right yes um, guys guys <laughs> learn, learn learn to take care of your ladies okay? yes it, please there's a thing called premature ejaculation but also be conscious because she has to go too yeah so let's figure out her first and then you could take five seconds after that yeah <laughs> The more you know. <laughs> it's, it's a serious, serious, serious problem. Not just not just India. It's serious yes. everywhere. Oh, yeah. Where because parents are, are are shy or afraid to talk about it with the kids. Kids don't want to talk about it with the parents a lot of the time. I don't understand it because I've always talked openly with my kids about sex, and it 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 it. But it is such a patriarchal thing for so many millennia that a woman's sexual needs are not only not even thought about by men, but they're told not to talk about it. And also, all they, is there anything more a woman could want than children? Right. By the mom, obviously. Don't even get me started. That was uh, uh, fitting, because that's what uh, that's, a lot of people are told, a lot how'd of people you, think. How'd you like the use of the score in this one? I loved it. Wasn't it hysterical? I, it was one of my favorite moments. Come on now. In cinema history, I think. K3G? <laughs> yes. Yes. The use one, the use of his own music. Okay, first of all, the, the use of his own. You music, knew it was coming. It. The use, literally, the use. <laughs> the fact I thought it was good enough that we got her using the vibrator to masturbate in the library. Yeah. That in and of itself, I was, I thought, good for you. So glad you're covering this topic. It's so important to talk about this. But then when she got it, the moment Grandma said, yes. "I can't find the remote," <laughs> and Steph called it I out said, too. "Oh my goodness, this is going to be phenomenal." It was better than I was expecting because I thought it was just going to be grandma getting the remote. And so, when she had to go out into the room, yes. you know what's yeah. you know what's going to happen. Yeah. And then when she climaxes <laughs> and we hear Lada G. One of my favorite that moments. I, I was ever dying of laughter in that moment to hear Lada G in the pinnacle. And when, when she's getting there in front of the whole family... I didn't expect them to do that. I loved that she just couldn't contain it. She's yeah. just, oh, and then this is great. When she goes. Right. <laughs> copy, kushi, copy, go. It is one of the greatest one moments the in greatest cinematic uses history. Of one, your own score. Yes. I've ever seen in my entire life. It was, and I it loved was, it. It they was, had to have been the creme de la so creme. happy with I, that creation. I wish, I hope he didn't actually tell people he was going to use his own score on set. I, <laughs> I hope they saw it at the, at the screening. Everybody, cast, everybody. And then, oh, obviously. So phenomenal. Let's talk about her first, obviously. Yeah. Um, um, which, and then, which, well, there's the two of them, but there's the main, her, the wife of Vicky. Right here, right? Yeah. Uh, Nia, say her name. Uh, Nia Nia Dhupia, which I don't believe we've seen a ton. Uh, that was her, right? Um, or was she the other? I can't tell or, from the thumbnail. Or, or Doesn't look she, anything. I can't tell from the thumbnail. Or was she the librarian? Uh, the the other one. Yeah, that her oh. thumbnail on IMDb is not. What was her name? Uh, hold on, I I can tell you. No, Reka was the the one that was vibrating in the library. So that was Reka. Um, for sure. Yes. Okay. A thousand percent. All right. Um, uh, mom. Provis. Well, hold on. Actors. I can. You know what's the better? Believe it or not, the better place where it will clarify those things for you is the breakdown on Wikipedia. 
So let me go to that story, which is the Karan Johar um, one. There's Anurag. There is... Got it. You got it? Yes. So she was in uh, Kabir Singh. She was opposite Shahid Kapoor. She played Creedy. Um, she played Creedy. Right here. Oh, Preeti. Sorry, not Creedy. Why didn't... Oh, cool. oh here Sorry. I am. I'm, I'm, they don't even credit her in freaking... No. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. She played Preeti in, in Kabir Singh. Okay. So she, we loved her. Oh, yeah. It is Ki Kiara Edvan. Yes. So we've yeah. seen her actually many times. She's a phenomenal actress. She did great in this. Uh, I, I loved her whole arc of it, of going from kind of a innocence mm -hmm. um, to to not knowing what she was supposed to expect to the, the, the sex scene. I loved did. the moment where... Her, her friend is masturbating in the library, right? Mm -hmm. The difference between the gawking guy yeah. and the inquisitive girl yeah. was spectacular. Yes, well done by all the actors uh, there. And that was a, I know that was a writing and directing choice to have yes. the guy be gawking, but have her be looking with inquisitiveness and the differentiation of those two perspectives on sexual health. The guy's being a pervert. Yeah. She's being a human being. Yeah. Uh, nothing wrong with using a vibrator, by the way. At all? Fun fact. I texted on your rug after I watched it. Yeah. And I said, great job. I loved your whole segment. Tell him all about it. He said, thank you so much. And I said, I loved Kieran Johar's segment. <laughs> it was fucking hilarious. He said, yes, it was. Fun fact. It incredibly increased the sale vibrator of vibrators sales. in India. <laughs> So shout out to you, Karen Johar, a man of the people. Well done. <laughs> well done. A great little fact. That's um, fantastic. But yeah, she uh, she did such a good job. I I, I felt <laughs> for her the entire time. Also, phenomenal job of displaying the orgasm. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that that can be so easily missed because it's such a hilarious moment. But. I believed her. You, you can make it so cheesy and so, so bad. Stupid. And so shout out to Kieran Johar. Playing for also orgasm versus actual. I believed what I was watching. I believed I was watching. Uh, it was so good. It makes you want to ask her, what were you doing yeah, in yeah. the moment? Exactly. Were you going full method in that moment? Yeah. Genuinely. Shh. It was that believable. I would love to see more of her work. Uh, we've also Shersha with that. My uh, goodness, we also that was really so funny. Turn Shersha, uh, which is the I remember that one. Yeah, um, that we really enjoyed and, as well. And, but the I want to talk about Vicky. I want to talk about Vicky. <laughs> Holy shit! Because <laughs> how God, many it, times? How many times did they have to do the five second shot? I mean, they did it at least seven or eight times, didn't they? Oh, I loved it. Um, <laughs> but this was with so, her counting. One, he, we, you already know. She, he's one of the best actors India has. Yeah, he is. He's, he's so wonderful. phenomenal. This was so different for him. I'd never seen him as this meek kind of nerdy, nerdy, right? Because normally I'm like Uri. He's like absolutely, or like he has a lot more confidence usually in yeah. what he's doing or whatever role he's playing. But man, this was so unique and so different. He also played the characters just so honestly and so well. Which is what made it great, because he could have easily just been a selfish prick. Yeah. And he just was ignorant. Yeah, very. Which made you feel for the guy, especially when we come full circle to the end, which I want to talk about that final shot. Yeah, that yeah, you reminded yeah. me that was the final that frame. That was the final shot. I was going to bring it up. The Again, every one of these things ends with an empowering moment. The symbolism of him giving her the ice cream, obviously conveying without it being heavy handed, it's conveying it with a great sensitivity that he realized, wow, I should be attending to your needs too. Yeah. And making sure she is enjoying. Yeah. Uh, Very important. Obviously. Hugely important. <laughs> hugely. Don't be a selfish lover. <laughs> hugely. And, and, and don't truly. You're not. I know a lot of people go there because there's nowhere else for them to go. But porn isn't going to teach you how to properly make love. It, it, it's just not. It's going to show you some things to do that'll, you know, kind of be in sex. But ultimately, those things are done for watching purposes. They're More not like educational. Incest. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, they're not educational. And there just needs to... Everything from... You know, and Johnny and I have talked about this. Is is what are the what are the resources? I mean, you can talk with your kids about the birds and the bees, but no one's going to get into the details of how, what do you do? What is the difference between a male orgasm and a female orgasm? Uh, what, what are you supposed to do if you go down on somebody? Mm. Uh, that Those things are important. And sadly... A lot it's of taboo. folks, when they get married, it's yeah. it's taboo even within their relationship, yeah. and they go dysfunctional for the totality of their marriage, yeah. 
thinking this is just the way it's supposed to be versus because not a lot of people would be just completely open and, and enjoy the fact that we get to now experiment with each other. Like, a, you know, if you read Song of Solomon, um, I just thought this was magnificent yeah. in, in all four stories. It was very Indian um, in this story because of obviously the relationship of the, the parents and I love the principal moments as well. Yeah. <laughs> this is a nature story. It's a, it's yeah. a lion. It's, that doesn't say lions. They misspelled that. It's a lion. Um, but the fact that like um, there's the very um, conservative, I guess you would say, and also the taboo subject of anything having to do with sex of right. the mom saying, there's nothing more a woman could want than a child. Yeah, or you know? even then the response to uh, the fact that it's it's damnable that she was masturbating yeah like you, just completely and utterly like you should divorce her now right <laughs> leave her yes um in, in, when you don't even realize your son table, doesn't give like, a crap about her sexual gratification like, look at your sister-in-law how yeah. happy she is and she look she did not look happy in the slightest <laughs> It was so sad, um, but it's uh, it was such a phenomenal message and so well done. Shout out to Karan Johar because this is one of his best directorial without question. Um, <laughs> and the added beauty of his adding to it mm -hmm. the Bollywood oh. essence of who he is. It really had everybody's DNA in it, directing Everybody. wise. Yeah. Um, the the ranking for me, and it's incredibly difficult because I loved all these, and because so it's not like anything in in Bombay talkies where Kieran Johar was way at the bottom, where like I you, uh, it was easy to kind of rank them because yeah, of this how one's good Nawaz really, was, really and difficult, how, how uh, subpar I think Kieran Johar was in Bombay talkies, but mine would be it would be Kieran Johar would be number one. And then it gets even more difficult. But I can't. Then, uh, it's probably Anurag Zoya and then... Uh, I can't. Dil, uh, Dil, Dilbajar? Uh, sorry, name, sorry. No, Dilbajar. Dabakar? Dabakar? Yeah, Dibakar? I don't, um, forgive us again. Even though I think his writing was probably the most complex. Uh, yeah, I can't. It's really, I think... Any, it's, um, Karen Jahar is uh, one. And then the rest are two A, B, and C. But here's the thing. Part of the reason... Karen Johar's is what it is because of the placement they, where they chose the choosing of these four where they are is monumental yeah. to the flow of this thing as a as a as an anthology they all could have been movies and I would have loved to have watched they them. absolutely could but I don't know that I would have I would have enjoyed them any order they were in but it being the end added to the greatness of the fourth one so I I genuinely I can't pick one over the... I can pick elements of each one. Mm. For example, the first one gives you the strongest lead because the story depends on the lead. And the other ones are, are a bit more ensemble. But there's a difference between what she does and what's done in the second one with your two leading ladies. Mm. And they, there's a beautiful... I would, I, I'm sure maybe you, if you've asked Anurag, they had to have talked about the uniformity they wanted to convey yeah, of the empowerment it. of every woman and each one of them ending on something representative of that woman's empowerment. Yeah. Um, I, I think this is an important movie. Yeah, very. And yeah. Um, I, I'm glad we watch it. We are going to watch Lust Stories too. That's why. I, yeah, I know they're not connected, obviously, at all. At all. Uh, and I know they're, the stories aren't connected, uh, but I didn't want to watch the second one without watching no. the first one first. Absolutely. Uh, even though, once again, they're not connected. There might be Easter eggs for all um, But... Uh, we so we will be watching that one next. So look forward to that, um, and we will watch Ghost Stories uh, maybe around October. October's I think October's coming up. That would be great. I think that would be fitting. I, I do too. Uh, even though a lot of people said that one was the 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 weakest, even though people also said Lust Stories was weaker than Bombay Talkies, and so we're going to see for ourselves. We're going to watch them. We we um, like these directors a lot. It's hard for me to see that any of these directors just making an awful no film. Agreed. You know? um, even though actually, have we seen an awful film? Because I was thinking Cal Hall Naho for, but that's not, not awful. His. That's not I, his. The one, the one for me, I, I didn't particularly like Dev D. That's the only Anyarog film that I yep, really didn't particularly true. like. That's true. He's a. That was the uh, the film of his that we liked the least. Yeah, uh, for sure. Even though everybody else loves that film. So. Yeah, I, I didn't detest Dev D. I just I didn't like it. But, compared to his uh, other films. Yeah, for sure. Anyways, let us know what you thought about them. Well, what's your favorites uh, of the two, of the four, sorry. Uh, and what should be the next anthology, besides the ones I've already mentioned that we're going to watch. 
down below.